talk about a very common pregnancy ailment today that is nausea and vomiting of pregnancy as well as indigestion and heartburn. So nausea and vomiting of pregnancy most commonly occurs in the first three months or the first 14 weeks of pregnancy. Thereafter, it gets reduced a little bit. Now what causes this nausea and vomiting of pregnancy? It is the hormonal changes which happen in pregnancy. So what happens is that there is intensive nausea that can happen and apart from that, there is also vomiting that may happen. This vomiting may be induced by signs and smells. Earlier you may have liked some kind of food but now you suddenly realize that the same food is leading on to nausea as well as vomiting. As the name implies, morning sickness does not mean it's only in the mornings, it could happen throughout the day and some people also experience it in the evenings, some people throughout the day. So how can we actually prevent this morning sickness? First of all, a very healthy lifestyle is what is important. Eat small frequent meals. When you get up in the morning, have a dry toast or a dry cracker. You even have some things like ginger candies which are there. Drinking some water, although water can also cause vomiting in some people. But keep yourself well hydrated. Make sure that you avoid whatever food is bringing on the vomiting. You know, we don't want you to have good foods also. Like for instance, a lot of people have nausea to even milk. So we don't want you to have that milk and then to vomit out everything. Make sure that you also contact your doctor in case this vomiting becomes incessant, that you're not able to keep down anything. There is medication that is also available for this. Also remember to quit smoking, alcohol, too much fried and spicy food also leads to the same. So this is a bit about the nausea and the vomiting of pregnancy. We also have the entity of, you know, heartburn as well as this is seen towards the latter part of pregnancy. Now, why does this come about? It is induced because of the hormonal changes as well as the growing uterus and the baby which compresses the stomach. So what happens here is that you might feel that there is a lot of heartburn and there is reflux kind of a gastritis that is happening. There may be a feeling of bloating, there may be pain or a burning sensation in the chest or behind the breast bone and apart from that you may even throw up. So what do you do for this? First of all, again, a healthy lifestyle is very important. Some of the things which you can do is that have small frequent meals. Make sure you don't eat too late in the night. So it should be at least three hours before you sleep. Make sure that you're not having very fried or spicy food. Avoid alcohol and smoking and even use a pillow below your head as well as, as, well as your shoulders because this will keep it a little elevated and it will prevent the reflux from happening. There are also medicines which can safely be given in pregnancy. So in case there is a problem, do contact your doctors so that you will have a, you know, a respite from this kind of uh, indigestion. And remember that despite the fact that these are troublesome entities, they do not affect the baby. So, eat healthy, have a healthy lifestyle, make sure you give up on your alcohol and smoking and make sure that you stay as positive as possible. Also remember to constantly be in touch with your doctor whenever needed because there is medication that is available which is very safe in pregnancy. So healthy pregnancies, healthy and happy eating. Stay healthy, stay blessed.